Hi, welcome to Siemens NX12 video tutorial. Again, a basic one. Again, it's regarding sketches. Two problems with sketches. First, sketches should be fully constrained and sketches should work with features. And these are two different things. A sketch which is fully constrained might not work and a sketch which works might not be fully constrained. And it's all about the Relations Browser in Siemens NX. So, let's have fun with Siemens NX. In order to use the Relations Browser properly, go to File, Preferences, Sketch, and disable that Continuous Auto Dimension right here. Otherwise, it will not work properly. Disable this. There will be, of course, no continuous auto dimensioning but I would advise to deactivate it anyway so let's confirm this now if I go to that sketch and it was drawn with deactivated auto dimensioning and then your relations browser which is under more right here you can go for all active sketch will show you the status of every element in the sketch and there's another switch which shows the dis which activates the display of the degrees of freedom of those elements and these are those arrows. If you zoom in, you can clearly see an arrow here and there, which means those points can move in the sketch plane. If you deactivate this one, the arrows will not be shown. Okay. You could go for all in the sketch or just for a single or multiple objects. For example, this one and the browser will show you the line, the so status, White circle means no constraints at all. If you go for multiple objects, you can select more than one and you will get the constraints which limit those curves. Or you could go for all in active sketch and the status column will show you partly or half black, half white means that element is just partially constrained. Complete white circle means it's unconstrained. Complete black circle means it's fully constrained. So let's take a look. Line 14 is fully constrained. That's not absolutely correct. Constrained, yes, but it needs a dimension to be fully constrained because of course I can move this line up and then this line would be longer than before. Back to our relations browser. Okay, so I can clearly see which elements are constrained and which not. And I could select maybe, let's take a look, this line and then delete it. And let's take a closer look. The light green one is fully constrained. There's a line, there's a line, there's a line, there's another line below that line and that's quite useful to find elements which are hidden by other elements. And there's a point which is only partially constrained and I could delete that point as well. Of course I could change that line to reference for example, convert to reference. I could remove all constraints, remove all dimensions. I could hide it. I could delete it. And maybe I will delete it. Close. Now let's add some dimensions. And maybe make 
this one collinear to the sketch horizontal axis and it should be full constrained and the relations browser should of course confirm this all elements are fully constrained I could switch to constraints I would get the list with the constraints and the participating elements very very nice and useful and this one shows within part that this constraint is referencing or connected to a 3d element the datum axis of the datum coordinate system not the sketch axis but the 3d axis of the coordinate system and you should always take care and use only one axis system use the sketch axis system the horizontal and vertical sketch axis or use exclusively the 3d axis of the datum coordinate system don't use both of them so that's a really nice and neat tool which i think is available in an x since uh, release 10 at least then i noticed it so i think i'm done hope you enjoyed this one if you liked it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fm page i want to get more subscriptions and likes over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye